This evening, bonanza for government employees. The cabinet has cleared the seventh pay commission's recommendations for a pay hike to over 4 million central government staff and over 5 million pensioners. Here are the key highlights. The salary hike will be in the range of 20 to 25 percent and this will be enforced retrospectively from January this year. The centre will have to shell out over 1 lakh crore rupees. Finance Minister had provision for this in his last union budget. So how will this impact the economy? Well, for starters, more uh, money in the hands of nearly 10 million people boosting consumption. Sectors like FMCG, auto and real estate could see an uptick in demand. This will provide some much needed cushion for the stock market as well. Consumption contributes over 70% to India's GDP and this could help markets tide over the external shocks from Brexit, Fed rate hikes and other global events. Here are some reactions to the landmark decision coming in from the cabinet today. Per se, the pay commission is obviously going to result in more money in the hands of people. Mm. And we have seen historically that whenever people have more money, consumption increases. Whether it is consumption in the form of buying you know, white goods, whether it's in the form of buying houses, consumption of buying cars or buying two-wheelers, consumption always increases. Yeah. When you have arrears, etc., come through, and when there is a small kitty of money which comes together, uh, people tend to, you know, fulfil some of the uh, aspirations that they have, and you know, we, one can easily see demand going across uh, several categories. Uh, definitely, we'll see demand going up in the white goods space. Uh, you know, uh, consumers tend to upgrade their televisions, etc. Even in the festive season, we would see a better demand in the apparel space, uh, and all things which can typically go up in terms of decking up your homes.